Spinosaurus could be in the next movie! Is literally what everybody is saying on YouTube. And I'm not even joking. Literally everybody who makes dinosaur content covering Jurassic in some shape or form has made videos documenting why they think Spinosaurus might be making its return in the newest movie. So I put out a poll on my YouTube channel asking if you guys think, not know or want, think the Spinosaur should be in the new 2025 movie Jurassic World Rebirth. And the results kind of are unanimous here. As of recording this right now, there are 11,000 votes and 76% of those votes said that they think Spinosaur will be in the movie. And I don't blame you. I've been making videos on this franchise since 2015. All the way back then, people were still speculating on Spinosaurus making its return to the Jurassic World franchise and pretty much every subsequent movie from there. There's always been theories in Fallen Kingdom, how would Spinosaur return, and especially Dominion, how would it come back then? But this time, there seems to be way more focus on it. Putting aside my cynical view and obvious reasoning as to why they're doing it, because if it's in the thumbnail, it's the title, Spinosaur has always gotten views, but I want to know why this time, why this movie is everyone thinking that Spinosaur is going to make its return? Let's get to the bottom of it. When it comes to speculation videos, I don't have a problem with them at all. But usually, not everyone unanimously comes to the same conclusion, which is what's happening right now, that Spinosaur is somehow going to be in the next movie. And because I'm a Jurassic Park fan, I've watched all of these speculation videos. However, nowhere in them have they shown any evidence of Spinosaur being there. But there wasn't going to be any. I think if Spinosaur is going to appear in these movies, it's probably going to be 100% CGI. This movie's only got a two-year turnaround, if that, probably a one-year turnaround in comparison to the three years that normally the Jurassic World franchise get. So if it's going to be in there, it's probably going to be CGI. And unless you're planning on hacking all their servers, there ain't no way you're getting that evidence. It's just a shame that we're not going to see any cool leaked photos of a giant Spinosaur maquette, you know, from a set. And talking about set photos, uh, yeah, let's talk about those leaks. Before we go any further, I do want to put a big spoiler warning of this section. So if you don't want to have any leaked plot or any of these photos shown to you, just go to the, the timestamp that I've put here and you'll skip all of that. So the first set photos that were leaked were these, and this was from a shoot in Thailand, showing a downed helicopter as well as some ancient Mayan ruins. What's interesting about these is that we haven't seen anything like this in the movie franchise. And a lot of people are speculating that this will take place on one of the five islands of the Jurassic franchise. That being Isla Sorne, Isla Nubla, Isla Matanceros, you know, all of that. Showing that Colin Trevorrow's vision of trying to get dinosaurs in the world was never going to plan out and we're going back to plan A, which is back to an island. And the reason for this is because if you remember back in the 1990s, we had a game called Trespasser. There were ancient ruins on that island, the island being Isla Sorne. So you could say that it is possible that we'll see the dinosaurs that were in that game. But unfortunately, Spinosaur wasn't in that game. At this point, we've got more chance of seeing the Albertosaur that was in Trespasser than a Spinosaurus. However, these Mayan ruins might be linking to a new creature in the Jurassic franchise that has never been put to film. And I haven't seen anyone else talk about, but that's because nobody who covers this franchise plays the mobile games. There is an officially licensed art in Jurassic World Alive that shows these almost exact ruins, or at least the type of architecture. And in that art is the giant prehistoric snake Titanoboa. More accurately, it's the boss version, Hydroboa, but I, I doubt we'll see that in the movie. But at least it's linking towards something, and relatively recently. We're not talking about a game that came out in the 1990s, early 2000s. We're talking about something that's actively going on now. So it's more likely that we'll have a Titanoboa than a Spinosaur. Possibly. Basically, what I'm saying is there's more chance of us seeing a giant snake than a Spinosaurus. The next leaked footage we'll look at and the more likely to point towards a Spinosaur was this being filmed by a Twitter user, Stevie C34711. Gotta love those Twitter handles. And in this footage, you can see them filming in Malta on a giant ocean blue screen, which is where they shoot a lot of their, you know, amphibious or aquatic scenes, mainly the open ocean scenes. 
And on the set, you see a military grade speedboat of some sort. And you can clearly hear the director shout action. Here he comes. Action, here he comes. And three, two, one. Followed by a big wave hitting this side of the boat. It could be them saying, The Despidosaurus is coming here! Watch out! In my own personal opinion, it's probably more likely this is going to be the Mosasaur, as seeing as this is probably in the open ocean, and I highly doubt that a Spinosaur is going to jump up and attack one of these, like, military-grade boats. It's not Godzilla, whereas the Mosasaur has already been shown in Dominion to not shy away from capsizing the odd ship or two. So with those leaks out of the way, we pretty much have nothing to show us that Spinosaur is going to be in this movie. Yet, that is. But before you say anything, yes, I know Spinosaur was in Camp Cretaceous, damn it. But let's be honest, it was only in there for nostalgia's sake. For crying out loud, it's the same season they were throwing everything at the wall, like mind control, saber-toothed tigers, and bloody robots. And with that all being said, how about we take a look at the other side of the coin? You know, the one no one wants to talk about. The reasons why Spinosaur is not gonna be in the movie. Don't kill me, I'm sorry! To the contrary, there are plenty of reasons as to why Spinosaur will not be making any future appearances in the franchise. The Spinosaur in Jurassic Park 3 was a one-off. That's the whole reason why it wasn't even on InGen's list. It was just some weird science experiment. In Dominion, I think we found out that pretty much all the dinosaurs from Isla Nublar and Isla Sorna had been taken off and put into the Biosyn Valley of the Dolomites. And we didn't see a Spinosaur in there at all. We did, however, see the Buck and Doe Rex at the end of the movie, but that's not to say that Spinosaur wasn't there, because we've had dinosaurs randomly appear out of nowhere, like the Dilophosaurus. So something like Spinosaur, even though a lot bigger, it wouldn't be the first time that this franchise has retconned something, you know, just for the sake of it, like the Lagoon or the Dilophosaurus. The only official Spinosaur we've seen in the Jurassic World franchise was that skeleton on Main Street in Jurassic World. You know the one, the one that T-Rex burst through and destroyed. You know, Universal's way of saying, I was sorry about Jurassic Park 3, we didn't like it either. And finally, in Jurassic World Evolution 2, we got to travel back to Isla Sorna. And now, can, whether this is canon or not, I'm really not too sure, the whole thing's a mess. But we see that exact Spinosaur in that scenario. And, well, it got killed by Velociraptors. I can't watch. And I can't turn away. Oh! Oh, it's that dinosaur. Wait. Why are we still here? Collect the body. I have plans for it. <laughs> Did they just write up the Spinosaurus? I mean, there's only one Spinosaur, right? Oh! And this is kind of canon, because in Jurassic Park 3, there was an alternate ending where the Spinosaur was supposed to be attacked by that group of Velociraptors that were tagging along, you know, the Kirby's and Alan Grant. So Spinosaur was supposed to die this way, but at least now we have a video game interpretation of that ending we never got on film. And as far as I know, everything that's in Jurassic World Evolution 2 has to get the green light from Universal. And Frontier has pretty much told us that. So any dinosaur design has to be confirmed by the Universal team before it's implemented into the game. So this whole scenario with the Spinosaur dying is kind of canon? I don't know. It's, it, like I said, it's a mess. So before we let our imaginations run wild with the thought of seeing Spinosaur on the big screen again, as much as I and every other Jurassic Park fan would love to see it, it's important to hold one question in mind. And that is, is it really something that we want. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but we must address the elephant in the room that is Dilophosaurus. This is a dinosaur that made such a statement in Jurassic Park that for every subsequent movie that came out, it had a toy or some sort of influence in the merchandise campaign for that movie. We all wanted to see Dilophosaurus again, and when it finally returned to Dominion, we got... <laughs> Yeah, chances are if the Spinosaur does come back, it's probably just going to be killed by a T-Rex or handled poorly. It'll never live up to the expectations we've set in our minds. If there's anything that Jurassic World Dominion has taught us, 
it's that the expectations never live up to the hype. Just like the Dilophosaurus didn't, the biggest carnivore Giganotosaurus didn't, and the Jurassic Park cast returning didn't. He slid into my DMs. Don't let Spinosaurus become another casualty of this franchise, just milking nostalgia for nostalgia's sake. I was quite happy with leaving Spinosaurus on Isla Sauna, running away from the fire that was the Kirby fight, and living out the remainder of its life on Isla Sauna. It didn't get tag teamed like the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World, impaled like the Indoraptor in Fallen Kingdom, or unceremoniously killed like the Giganotosaurus in Dominion. It's one of the only big bads that didn't meet its demise at the end of a movie. That's okay. So with that all being said and done, why is everybody on YouTube still obsessed with including Spinosaurus in their thumbnails and titles and thinking it's going to be in the new movie? I think we have the answer. And that's because Spinosaurus is the only dinosaur we have left. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of sick of the Marvel Universe style heroes that Rexy and Blue have turned into. Indominus Rex is dead, Indoraptor's dead, Giganotosaurus shouldn't have died, but that's also dead. And you know what sells at the end of the day? Nostalgia. And that is exactly what Spinosaurus is. In the famous words of John Hammond, These creatures require our absence to survive, not our help. And Spinosaur needs that. It doesn't need to be dragged from the depths of the bowels of Universal's unwanted to now just be thrown into the spotlight, unceremoniously killed or mishandled, just to get a good paycheck. Just like you have all these movie actors like throwing Scarlett Johansson into it just to guarantee seats into the movie theater, I don't want them to do and treat Spinosaur exactly the same. Just throw it in there because you'll get everybody wanting to see it fight a T-Rex. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty happy with Spinosaur just living out its life in Isla Sauna. The only good ending to any of the big baddies that are out there. So, what do you guys think? Do you want to see Spinosaur on the big screen, obviously handled correctly, or do you not want them to have the chance to butcher it and just bring it up for the sake of nostalgia and to sell tickets in the cinema? I'd love to hear your comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, well, you know, I finally get around to it. I, I finally take the bait. Everyone else has made videos on Spinosaurus, and now I have. Are you happy? <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>